everyone, this is Annelise Borges live from Kyiv where there's been another area hit by shelling, another residential district and uh, this is a result of that shelling. As you can see, the extent of the damage is quite impressive. At least eight people have been killed here according to the office of the prosecutor. That death toll is uh, still being updated, however. Um, a lot of destruction to the side as well. I'm going to walk over there. Uh, this area is surrounded by residential buildings, towers, very high towers like this one. And you can't see right now, but that um, building has pretty much all its windows completely shattered. Um, emergency responders rushed here uh, very early this morning. In, in fact, since uh, 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 the, late last night when uh, the fire started here they had uh, to work for quite some time to put out the flames as you can see several cars uh, were parked in this parking lot I'm gonna switch the camera around to show you um, some of the cars or what is left of them um, is still are still there um, and as you can see other parts of uh, cars or simply debris from uh, the mall itself are scattered all over this area. Authorities here say that at least eight people died, but that um, the casualties are still being updated um, as I talked to you this morning. Over the last few days we have seen scenes like this one uh, pretty much on a daily basis here in the Ukrainian capital. Why? Because um, shelling has intensified. Uh, this is actually the result of uh, shrapnel. So it's not an entire missile that fell here, or at least uh, that's what we think for now. These um, rockets or missiles are being intercepted by uh, Ukrainian defense system and they fall, parts of them fall, and that's what they do. Um, they cause quite a lot of destruction and of course uh, the loss of lives as well. Over the last week, uh, several people have been killed in residential areas across Kyiv. Uh, I would say that we are now at around 14 over the last week. Uh, I'm, I'm counting this uh, quickly right now. We had uh, six people dead until yesterday and now these eight um, civilians, uh, most of them civilians, um, I am told, uh, most of them were actually killed in their sleep inside their homes when um, parts of um, rockets fell from the sky and caused fire. Uh, firefighters here in Kyiv have been very busy over the last few days trying to respond to these multiple emergencies across the city. For now, Ukrainian soldiers have been telling us that they have the situation under control in the outskirts of the city. Russian troops had been advancing uh, towards Kyiv from the east and from the northwest. There are multiple fronts. The situation is quite fluid. Um, the fronts change all the time, but we are getting reports that those Ukrainian soldiers were uh, have been for a few days now holding their position and even repelling some of Russia's offensive. Uh, but authorities here say that because that the, the Russian progress has stalled, um, this is the result. Intensified uh, shelling, uh, ground-to-air missiles that have been um, targeting different areas of Kyiv, intercepted by Ukrainian uh, defense system, and then uh, parts of it, parts of these uh, rockets falling in these areas. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around again to show you. There are still um, workers here trying to um, respond to the situation. There are uh, police officers as well. They have been guarding this area. They put up these cordons to isolate the area that has been shelled. Of course, it's quite dangerous to go into these um, uh, spaces. There, uh, there could be still parts of uh, the rocket that are still very hot. Uh, there could be um, incidents of a fire that can break out once again. So they're securing the area. Most of the time, that's what's been happening here in Kyiv. Uh, authorities rush in, they 
establish a security perimeter and then later on sometimes they let journalists come forward that often happens in residential buildings when residents themselves go back in to try and salvage the belongings they can um, I am uh, going to try to uh, respond to some of your questions if you have them please send them my way um, it's um, it's quite a tense situation we can't stay here too long you can see quite a lot of journalists um, those who are still here in Kyiv covering the situation we have been often um, called to cover these incidents over the last few days uh, but these areas are still quite dangerous um, I don't know if you can hear but the sound of explosions uh, is almost a constant theme here uh, since we've been standing here for for an hour or so we keep hearing these uh, loud roars and of course they are very close uh, to where I'm standing not exactly a safe space uh, but if you have a question um, Tony is saying strange there is no smoke Tony the fire broke out at around 2 a.m. so we're now uh, it's now 9 a.m. Uh, the firefighters have had quite a lot of time to put out the fire uh, that's why you don't see smoke anymore uh, it's a shame because I'm only uh, armed with my phone here but um, there is actually a little bit of smoke in the distance over there um, I'm trying to see if there are more questions um, from you um, some people there are saying God bless Ukraine and uh, um, supporting this country I know you have some comments there about migration I'm not really covering that for now um, some uh, comment there from Rini saying he's praying for Ukraine and Russia to reconcile uh, it's a very interesting uh, comment uh, right now many people are, are, are definitely praying for the end of this war but here in Ukraine at least I don't I don't get a sense that they're ready to reconcile people are starting to get very angry that this war is uh, lasting uh, for this long and that the number of people that are losing their lives um, that number keeps rising many people here say that they have not asked for this war they have done nothing to deserve it and that they feel that uh, Russia has uh, been aggressing them for for no reason of course those no negotiations um, are ongoing and um, the Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky this weekend said uh, it was time for uh, Russia and Ukraine to talk that he was ready to talk to President Vladimir Putin something that the Kremlin said is not going to happen at least not in the near future so it, it's one has to wonder just exactly um, how far these peace talks can go I am going to be signing up very uh, soon but I'm going to give you one last uh, view here of the scene and as you can tell uh, there are quite a lot of destruction in this uh, mall to the north of the Ukrainian capital Kyiv yet another residential area hit in the early hours of Monday preliminary reports put the number of casualties at eight people dead dozens were wounded emergency responders are still at the scene please follow our complete coverage on Euronews and Euronews.com for now I'm leaving you with this big these pictures again Annelise Bors is reporting live from Kyiv stay tuned for more updates throughout the day thank you for watching